Ah, and we went through an interesting little curly Q section, like the grain of curly maple, descending from this upland. You can hear a pileated doing its squeak in the background. Oh my, this charming little fungus ring around the base of the dead. What distressed oak tree? Ah, there's an interesting junction of blue and white. A turn is indicated. Number nine, number nine. This trail goes to the parking lot, ultimately, such as it is. This is the way we came from, and this is the way of the Circuit Bay. And continuing. We came from this direction, which runs all the way up to Osborne's store. And we're heading this way. Our scout indicates we are soon to hit the intersection of our incoming red trail. We'll be veering off to the outgoing white trail. <coughs> and Harry just can't get his mind off of Bratwurst. tell by the flared nostrils. So yeah, this is a fairly significant trail intersection. If you're coming down from the north and you want to find the Lansing Bennett parking lot, you would go this way. And if you're bent on staying on the Bay Circuit Trail, as we foolishly are, you'd be going this way. Deposits. Is that sawdust? No, that's an unusual kind of fungi. Jeez. A couple of old dead oaks. These things are like condominiums for all sorts of critters. High rises. Yeah, the trail gets positively boreal. It narrows. It's a sinuous curly cue sort of a thing. We're heading towards lowlands and I believe we should be crossing some kind of water thing soon. A little brook. We're running into a pond. Leaves haven't started to turn color completely yet, just little bits. Oh, here's some kind of drainage swale. Maybe that's the aforementioned brook. 
And as if to mock my presumption, now we're actually gaining a little bit of elevation. Could this be an eskery thing? <coughs> it's looking a mite eskerish. Ah, ah, yes. And there's a little local vernacular trail. We're looking back towards Osborne's and Route 53. And now we're looking forward, heading to the Southern Edge Trailhead. Yeah, it looks like a whole new run of mushrooms that showed up. By this time next year, I'll have refreshed my memory on what they all are. Yeah. Oh, we're on something steep. Our man Harold is Sticking his nose over the cliff. I see. So what are we on the edge of a? This looks like the bank gave way there or something. I don't know. This is probably. <laughs> yeah, I think it is kind of an Esker formation. So yeah, that's unusually steep for here. Yeah, a bit of that. Lots of this jack-o'-lantern shelf funky, fungi stuff everywhere. Get our backs to the sun. Day starting to warm up. Oh, yeah, this is probably some kind of esker. It's got the requisite steepness on sides, and the abruptness, and it brings us to lowlands. And oh, here's that water body, King Philip Brook, huh? Also known as Pometa Comet. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we have a blowdown mess over here, blocking some kind of trail. A little side trail. Oh, and if this isn't picturesque, good heavens, what is? Soothing. Just make loops of this and listen to this one. You can't get to sleep of an urban night. Here's the stream heading up to a pond system. You can hear traffic from one of the major town roads that girds this place. Quite an impressive root tangle we find as well. <laughs> 